thank you for spending the week with me. It was a pleasure to uh, share the Divrei Torah with all, you, all of you. And please keep on strong with the Dvar Torah on weekly basis, the Shnaim Yomi, which is a very, very important initiative. I like to share an idea about the Nevuot, the prophecy of the end of days. There are a few prophecies that we found. Let's start with the Zohar HaKadosh. The Zohar HaKadosh says, in the end of Parashat Ve'era, Zminin v'nei Yishmael le'atarak ravin takifin ba'almau le'kanashah b'nei dom alayhu. Mamash, when you read those prophecies, the things that are happening today in front of our eyes never happened before in history such things. It says over here that in the end of the days, Bnei Ishmael would start causing a lot of wars and Bnei Edom would come on to attack them, which means Bnei Ishmael are the Arabs. Bnei Edom are the Americans or the Europeans. And therefore, you see over here, there's wars between those two powers. Vitarun Krava Behu. And there start being wars between one and the other. Where would that be? Chad al Yama, Chad al Yabeshta, Vechad Samuk Lirushalayim. In the land, in the sea, and close to Yerushalayim. So we see they come to close to Yerushalayim. Why don't they go to a Muslim country? Why don't they go to a European country? It says over here it would happen. Close to Yerushalayim, Vishletun ilen beilen, one would be fighting with the other and would go over and conquer one the other. But the land of Israel would not be given over. In that time, there will come a nation from far away. I don't know where that is, whether it's Iran, whether it is China, but another nation will come from a farther land, al Romi Chayava, which means they'll come to fight against Rome, which is the Americans. The understanding is that it's the American because this is the Christian power. Vigach Bakravat Latrechin, the war would, would uh, take place three months. Vitkanshun Taman Amamya, Viplun Beedayu. There will be fights one with the other. Adit Kanshun Kol Needomala. There Bnei Ishmael will win over until Bnei Edom will come and take them as well. As it says in the beginning of Masechet Yuma Daf Yud, it says over there that in the end of the days before Mashiach comes, Bnei Edom will be able to rule over uh, Persia, it says over there, Paras, which means exactly what we see right now in front of our eyes. Iran is Paras, is Persia, and Edom will conquer them. The Tosfot in the beginning of Avodah Zarat of Gimel says that up to that time that, that Rome will conquer Persia, Persia will be an empire. And we see that unlike previous times in history, today Iran is a, is a world power. It, it has a lot of nations under its command. And when we take a look, at uh, the Nevoah of Bil'am in Parashat Balak, Bil'am has three prophecies. In the last prophecy, Bil'am says the prophecy of the Mashiach. He says, Er'enu velo ata, Ashurenu velo karov. The Ramban explains that this is uh, the, the meaning over here. I see, but it's not now. It's further in time. He's dealing with the Mashiach. When Mashiach will come. Darach kochav mi Yaakov, kam shevet misrael. That's the... Mashiach would eventually, which eventually would conquer and control everybody. But up to then, what would happen? Which means, over here, there's a war between Edom, which is America, which is that power of Edom, and they'll come to conquer in Eretz Israel. And what does it say over there? It says over there that when he sees when Bil'am sees the Keni, the Keni, it's explained over here in the Ramban that this is Ben Ishmael, he says the following prophecy. Up to then, up to the Mashiach time, you will, be, you will have strongholds in many places, whether it's in Israel as well, it says over here. You'll have, the Rashi brings down, you'll have strongholds in Israel, you'll have land and conquer. And also in European countries, within a dome, 
etan moshavecha. You'll have strength over there. You'll have places that you can that you hold. Whether it's not that doesn't have to be conquering. It has. It could be that you just start populating over there and and and, and living there and becoming part of that that land. Sim basela kinech kiim liyele vaer kain. Eventually, Hakadosh Baruch Hu will take him down from there. That's the Mashiach's role. And then he, he, he cites the following. He says, Oy, mi el. The Gemara says, what does he mean? Misumo el. That sumo el means Yishmael. Who would live at that time? Who would survive that time? Because they're so brutal, because they're so bad. And those people, the Gemara says on that in Sanhedrin, Yete velo achmine. When Mashiach should come, I don't want to be in that generation because of the cruelty. And then it says a fascinating thing. It says over here, Vitzim miyad kitim. Before the Mashiach would be revealed, a huge sheep would come from kitim. Kitim is Rome. Kitim is America. What does it mean, Tzim? Rashi says over here, Tzim is a great sheep. Is a, is a, is a very big sheep. Oniyag Dola, Rashi says, Vetsi Adir. Where do we find the huge, very big sheep? That is the, the craft carrier with many uh, warplanes, with, um, uh, with, with, with all kind of different uh, artillery. And they even have over there nuclear forces. And therefore, we see over here that that will come with who? Tsi Beyad Kitim. It would be also in the hand of the Kitim. Those, uh, those, those, uh, kitim means, as we explained, Rome. But eventually, everybody would be lost. And this is the prophecy of, uh, Bilam. One should go into it and learn it deeper inside because there's so much more in here that one should see in the Mefarshim that they explained about this idea. And when you take a look, at the Nevoah of Yechezkel, the very famous Nevoah of Gog and Magog, it says over there, Ben Adam sim panecha el Gog, Eretz HaMagog, Nesi Rosh Mesh Ketuval v'inave alav. The Malbim explains that who is it? Gog and who's Magog? We say, we don't know, he explains, how to fit the names. But Gog and Magog will be Ishmael and Rome, the two powers, the, the two world final powers. And if you want to see this in the Nevoah of Daniel, in Perek Bet, that he explains the, 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 the dream that the Mukhadetsa saw, he explains to him the different empires that he saw in the status and, and in the statue. And in the statue, the final thing or the bottom thing would, in, in the finger, he saw over there clay and metal, which was uh, the, the fingers were made of clay and metal, which usually don't combine together. He explains over there, and take a look at the Malbim there, explains, he explains that that relates to the final days that over there, the Bishmael and the Dom, that those two things don't come together. The, the prophecy over there with the statue starts with having on the head, the head was gold, that was referring to Babel, then going to the lower part of the body, which was referring to the the, the, the empires that came afterwards, and so on and so forth, until the very bottom when Mashiach will come, before Mashiach will come, that was, those were referring to the fingers that were made out of clay and metal, which don't combine to each other because they just don't go along together with each other, but, they, but they'll be fighting at the end of times. And the Cheskel over here explains in the Nevoah of Gogu Magog that this will be that Nevoah, and that Nevoah will come to the end that there'll be extreme uh, destruction. And it says here that the destruction would be so bad. Where would it be? In the land of Israel, which means out of the whole places in the world, this will happen in the land of Israel. And then Hashem will take care of the whole thing. He says, Kadosh says, Then I'll be very angry. Of everything that's happening. Very, very loud noise. Noise is referring to many different things, whether it's an earthquake, whether it is a nuclear war, whatever it is, we don't know. But we know that it affects the entire 
globe. Why? Verashu mi panai dege hayam. Even the fish will feel that that the effect of that that war. Ve'ofa shamayim. Even the birds. What could that be? It's not just a gun war or 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 a plane war. Ve'chayat asade. Ve'chol aremes aremes al adama. Ve'chol adam asher al penei adama. Not only here, throughout the whole universe. Kol adam asher al penei adama would be affected for this. Nersu ari mountains would collapse. How do you have mountains that are collapsing? Naflu amadregot kol choma laaretz dipol. What is it? It's a war. It's not only an earthquake. It would be an earthquake with a war. We don't know exactly. But this is something that we see that's coming along for the final purpose. What is it? Vid gadalti vid kadashti. In order to be mekadesh and megadel, elevate the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. What's, where are we in this whole equation? Says the al Shimoni in the name of Rabbi Yitzchak. Shana shemelech Mashiach ba. Shana shemelech Mashiach nigla bo. When the year that Mashiach comes, kol malche umot haolam mitgarim ze beze. All the nations are fighting one the other. Melech Paras, mitgare be Melech Avi again and again. It's Melech Paras, it's Iran. Fights with other nations. Ve'olech Melech Aravi le'aram litol et samem. Ve'chozer Melech Paras u'machriv et kol ha'olam. Iran will destroy the world. Ve'chol umot ha'olam mitrashim. All the nations. This is a world war. Mitbalim ve'noflim al peneem. Ve'israel mitrashim. Ve'mitbalim. Also, I'm Israel. I'm all scared. The chills. Ve'omer le'chan navo, le'chan navo ve'nelech. And the Kadosh who tells them, Yomer lahem, Banai, al titiareu. Don't be afraid. This is a promise from the Kadosh who. Don't be afraid. Don't fear. Kol ma shasiti lo asiti ala bishvelchem. Everything I did right now was for your purpose, for your own benefit. Mipne matem mityareim. Al tiru igia zman geulatchem. The geula, the final redemption have come. Mashiach is here. But another promise. Lo ke geula rishona, geula achona. This geula, is not like the previous Geula. Ki Geula Rishona, when we came out of Mitzrayim, Ayal Chem Tsar, there was pain. Veshibud Malchuyot Achare, and afterwards, again, you were going through suffering and going through exiles. Aval Geula Achona, En Lachem Tsar, this is without any, any suffering. Veshibud Malchuyot Achare, there's no more Shibud Malchuyot after that. Bezrat Hashem, we should all be zoche to see Nechamot and Akadosh Bochu, should bring the Geulah Shlema Bimera Ve Amenu Shabbat Shalom.